Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. On this video, we're going to be learning about GitHub. And GitHub is a website that allows developers to host and review code, to manage projects, to store the projects there, and also to build software. So it's pretty useful if you're trying to apply for a job because they always ask you about like uh, your GitHub, right? Uh, which is where you have all your projects. So they want to see if you have worked on them or, on them, or you're working actively on them, uh, if you have collaborated with others. And it's, it's a good resource to have overall. So if you're a developer, I recommend creating a, a GitHub account and then just having a, uh, you know, just be active on it. All right. So for this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be showing you something really simple, which is to connect a local uh, directory or folder or project that you have on your desktop to GitHub and pushing the code to GitHub so that you can start making changes on your local computer and then you can push those changes to GitHub. So this is like a common thing that developers do and it's a good uh, thing to know. Uh, it's a pretty uh, beginner tutorial, but uh, if you like it, just stick around. All right, so the first thing that, that I want you to do is go to uh, github.com. Uh, just create like an account if you don't have one. I already have one, so you can see here I have like 16 repositories. Um, the next thing that I want you to do is to have a web app. If you don't have a web app or you don't know how to set, set up a web app, I already have a video on it and I'll put it in the description. And you need to have just like a project that you're working on, right? Uh, in my case, this is the web app. It's just something that we built before on this channel. And uh, yeah, so that's the project that I have. I already run it. So if I go to Visual Studio, you see that's running here. So that this is the project that's on my computer locally right now. And I'm going to put this code on GitHub. And I'm going to show you to do it from the terminal. And you can also work with the with the source control here. All right. So once you have those two things, if you uh, once you have those two things, the GitHub account, and also you have a project that you wanna that you wanna push onto uh, GitHub, then we can get started. All right. So let me just uh, stop this. And the command that I'm gonna issue, let me let me see if I can just make this a little bit bigger. All right. So the first thing that you wanna do is uh, issue the command git init, which is gonna initialize the project. If this is the first time that you're doing it, you want to do it like this uh, to, t uh, to tell it the branch. But like in my case, I already initialized it. So I'm just say uh, git init and it's going to tell me that, you know, it's already uh, initialized. And if I do it the way that I was telling you to do, it, it's going to tell me it's just going to ignore in which branch uh, to do it. So as it says here, uh, you know, it's ignore. So it just ignore this part because I already uh, have a branch. I already initialized it. All right. So let me just clear this. And the next thing that you want to do is let's just make a change here. Uh, sign up to our newsletter uh, tomorrow or something like that. Let's just save it. All right. And then there is two ways to do this. So you can add the changes from here, from the terminal line. And these will add all the changes uh, done to this um, root directory. Or you can go here and also do it. But we'll do it uh, from the terminal first. And then I'll show you how to do it from the source control uh, panel on the left. All right, so let's uh, do that. And now you see that it changed here. So now we'll add a message to it. It's always good to, to do this. We'll say git commit message. And we'll just say uh, first commit. It's not the first commit, but we'll just say first commit. Enter. And now it tells you like, you know, what changed and all of that. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to create like a repo, right? So we'll just create a repo on GitHub because we don't have one. So let me just double check that I don't have one over here. So I don't have one right now. So we'll just create one right now. So let's just uh, issue this command, gh repo create. It's going to tell you like if you want to push an existing one or create a new one, we'll just push an existing one. <coughs> we already have here on the left. Uh, what's the path? This is the origin if it has the dot or just give it the path that you want to give it. The name, it will be a styling. Description, we'll just keep it like that. It will be public. And now it says they created like a repo on GitHub. So before we continue with this, we can just go to GitHub again and then you'll see it there. So now you can see here that, uh, that it's been created. If you go to it, into it, you'll have some commands that you can also issue. And this is pretty much what we're doing right now. So right now it doesn't have any, any code, right? So let's just push the code that we have here locally uh, onto GitHub. So it says add a remote. So we want to add a remote so that we can push the, the changes in the code. So we'll just say yes. What should this be called? Uh, it's going to be called origin. 
and it says added a remote. So now we just added a remote and we can, you know, add this code onto GitHub. Would you like to push the commits from the current branch? We'll say yes. And as you can see right now, it has uh, it has pushed the commits onto that uh, onto GitHub. So let's uh, let's go to the repo on GitHub. We'll just uh, reload it, and you should see all the you should see the directory here. See, as you can see here, it says first commit, first commit, yesterday, um, two minutes ago, which is why we changed. If you go to I think it was app.js and submit yeah it's it's here like sign up to the our, to our newsletter tomorrow so that's pretty much how you do it uh locally right and another thing that i wanted to show you is so let's say that uh i don't know uh, after let's just add a, a different change right and let's use this time let's use use the source control so let me save it so one thing that i wanted to show you um you know before i push this change is that in this case the prompt asked us if we wanted to push the commit right but uh, this doesn't happen all the time. So like, uh, we'll say, you know, we'll issue a command git add, and then we'll say, uh, you know, git commit, we'll give it a message. And then to push the changes, we'll say uh, git push, and that's gonna push uh, push the changes. All right. So now I've made another change, and this time let's just do it from the source control. If you are using, uh, using Visual Studio, you should be able to, um, to do it from there. So let me just uh, zoom out here. Uh, so this is the change that we made. And now if you go to source control, so it's gonna show you the the change here, right? And you can also see the commits and you can see the details and you can you can explore this. Maybe we'll go back and explore this at some point. So if you go to app.js, it tells you like what changed. If you go here, it tells you like, you know, you added the word uh, after. All right, so in order to stage the changes or uh, it's the same as saying git add, and then you know single dot so this is the same as just going here and just adding the change here stage the changes so just click there so once the file has been added here to the stage changes then you can um, you know enter a message and say uh you know second commit or something like that and that it's equivalent to saying uh you know git uh what was it commit and then you know the message and then you know second commit here whatever so it's the same as saying that, but just and this time you're doing it from the source control. So we'll just say commit. And up to now, we haven't done anything. So we're not gonna sync the changes. Uh, we're gonna do it through the terminal so that I can show you what I was talking about. And we'll issue the command git push to push the changes. So let's take a look, to, uh, let's go to the GitHub. And let me just reload it so that you can see that we haven't uh, pushed the changes yet. So it's uh, the changes are uh, remain locally on our directory now. So as you can see, we haven't pushed the changes. So if we go back here and we'll issue the command git push. So that tells you like, oh, well, this this is the process that's happening and it, ha it has pushed, uh, you know, all the changes. So now if you go to, where is it? To the repo and reload, uh, the word after should be added there. And sign up to our newsletter after tomorrow. So as a matter of fact, that happened. If you go back to styling, it tells you, uh, you know, the message and it also says like, you know, it was changed, uh, you know, these many minutes ago and so forth and so on. Some of the problems that you might run into are um, maybe you don't have the CLI. So then if you issue this command here, GH repo, um, you know, create, it's going to give you a problem and then you'll have to install it. So a quick uh, Google search will give you the command that you need, depending on which machine you have. So then you'll have to install the CLI. Another problem that you might have is that when you're, you know, issuing some of the commands, it's going to ask you to authorize or to log in. So for that, once again, you there is also like a command. I don't remember right now, but like you can just, uh, you know, Google it. If not, just leave all the questions in the comments and then I'll try to answer it to the best of my abilities. Those are two of the things that I run into. But like if there is any other problems, just let me know and I'll, I'll make sure that I answer the question. All right. So that's all for this video. If you like the video, uh, just, you know, leave a like, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what kinds of videos you want me to make and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.